So I got another pair of sneakers, and this time they're a pair of Brooks, and they were going for about 80 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it was actually a secondary seller selling through Amazon, and they finally came down in price to about $50. So I thought, well, I'll jump on these. They're really a retro style look, so before we get into all that stuff, let's get this box open here. So as you can see, they are Brooks, made in Seattle, Washington, here in the United States. I wear a size 11, which is a size 45 in Europe, and a size 10 in the UK. They are the chariot style, and it's sort of a retro style, and the colors are brown, burnt orange, ascension. So, what, do you, what does that look like? Well, this is what it looks like, right here. It's a very retro styled shoe, and uh, I enjoy these kind of shoes. I, I wear Sauconies generally. Uh, I do have a pair of New Balance that are sort of in this style, and uh, a couple other shoes, but uh, mostly Sauconies. And uh, as you can tell, sort of a very 70s look, at least in my eyes, it's a very 70s look on the shoe. I mean, again, it's a retro styled shoe, but just the colors are very reminiscent of that era. And with a pair of jeans, these I think will look great. The blue with the contrast with this orange and, and uh, this uh, brownish tone here. So that's the colorway. And uh, on the bottom here is the outer sole. You can see the Brooks branding here and sort of an aggressive sole there so you get a lot of grip on that on the heel portion here it's a little more flat but again it is textured everything is this hard rubberized outer sole on the toe you have you have the outer sole that comes up on the toe of course you have the brown as the new buck this seems like it's a synthetic material here on the brooks swish there and everything else seems to be a nylon material you have your Brooks logo on the tongue there, and you have these orange laces. So again, a cool looking shoe, very retro looking shoe, and I kind of just waited for the price to come down on them. Again, originally they were $80, and uh, came down to about, I think it was $49, $49.99, something like that. But I think these will be pretty cool. So why don't we take a look at these? on foot. But before we do that, actually let's take a look at the inner sole here. Let's see if we can pull it out here. Or the insole here. You can see the Brooks Running Company, Seattle, Washington, established in 1914. It's so actually over a hundred years now they've been in business, which is pretty cool. So, as you might be able to tell, I've worn these. I wore them two days in a row, and uh, I'm ready to give you my impressions of them. You can see they're already starting to get a little bit dirty. I'm not a freak when it comes to my shoes, so, you know, when they get dirty, they get dirty, and that's the way it goes. That's what they're for. They're on my feet. So anyway, uh, I love the way these look. Uh, the way they wear is, uh, I'm not as impressed as I thought I'd be. I know when, my, when I was a kid, my dad, uh, did some jogging and he always swore by Brooks. Um, you know, I gotta say my Sauconies, way more comfortable than these are. Uh, the first day I wore these, I wore socks that weren't too thick, but a little bit thicker than some of my other socks. And uh, the, the left foot was fine. The right foot was very uncomfortable that entire day. 
Now, I think one of my feet, probably my right foot, is a little bit bigger than the left one. Not crazy, freakish, I live near a power plant bigger, but, you know, slightly bigger. Everybody's a little bit asymmetrical. And uh, normally, it doesn't bother me. The only other time it bothered me was when I uh, had a pair of cowboy boots, and they were very specific in size, and... and uh, the right foot bothered me. But normally when I wear shoes, it doesn't bother me at all. It's like I said, it's not a huge, it's not even noticeable by your by your eye. But uh, some shoes I have problems with. So the, the right shoe didn't fit as well, especially with the thicker sock. So I was, you know, I was very disappointed that first day. So the second day I put a thinner sock on and it didn't bother me anymore as far as how it felt. But at the end of the day, the support, the arch support on these are not that good. Uh, like I said, my sock and knees are way more comfortable all around, and my sock and knees, any sock and knees, doesn't matter, even though I do have the uh, low pro jazz vegan ones, they're a little bit uh, thinner on the, on the, uh, the sole. The midsole is a little bit thinner on it, uh, so it's not as cushy as a regular just regular jazz or shadow Saucony. But uh, Saucony's for the most part fit me very well and they're very comfortable. So these, I gotta say, the arch support wasn't there and the actual feel, I'm not even talking about the, the size problem that I encountered the first day I wore it. The second day I'm talking about when I had the thinner socks, when everything felt okay, um, still not as comfortable. But they're not as bad as my ruse were. The ruse were pretty much obnoxious to wear and uh, I just couldn't deal with them, so I actually sold them years ago. They were very pretty shoes, but uh, they're, they just weren't worth wearing. So I'll keep the Brooks, but I'm not gonna buy another pair, number, two, number one. And number two, um, you know, I'm a little dissatisfied with them, but I like the way that they look. They have a great fall 70s, 1970s look, so uh, I'll still wear them from time to time. So that's going to do it for this video. Check out my other videos here on my secondary channel. My main channel, of course, is Tech Harvest, and this one you know. So I'll see you guys next time.